Hi. I'm here at the SJC Lee Fab Lab, and I, well, actually all of Sim Programs is really excited about something really big that's going on. It's not happening here, it's happening really far away. How far away? 122 million miles away, and it's happening on February 18th. There's going to be a new rover landing on Mars, and that's why we're having our Mars landing party. So, we're going to do a few activities and we're going to be joined by some friends from NASA in order to get ready, not just for this rover landing, but for you to get ready to make your own rover that'll land on Mars or Neptune or Pluto sometime in the future. So we're going to be learning some STEM We've got three lessons, and right now we're going to do the first one. We're going to start with a little bit of coding in a language called Scratch. Uh, you might have done some coding in Scratch before, or if you've done any hour of code, it's really similar. You can get to it at scratch.mit.edu. Uh, you can also install it on most devices. So please go ahead, join us. We're going to be doing an activity that was designed by NASA to make a rover video game. There's a lot of coding that goes into making a rover. After all, it's a robot. And it's a robot that's able to do scientific experiments far, far away. So, let's get started. I made my copy of the video game. Let's, let's try driving around. I'm gonna hit the green flag. Okay, I'm gonna move. I gotta get these samples quickly. My score is one. Oh, ah, there we go, there we go. I need to avoid the hazards. Don't wanna hit a hazard. Oh, I hit a hazard. Well, I got a score of two. And I had four seconds left. If I had not hit that hazard, I think I would've won. It's not a bad video game. Wanna make your own? Let's get started. So, here I have a page on Scratch. When you go to scratch.mit.edu, go ahead and click on Create, and it'll take you to this dialog. And you're going to see Scratchy the Cat and some blocks. I'm just gonna give you a couple of introductory tips, uh, but the lesson uh, here, you can go right to it uh, at the NASA website, is gonna take you step by step through making your game. Now, Scratch has sprites. They're a type of a variable, something that you can give commands to. So, move, turn. Notice this variable has sub variables. It's X and Y location, it's direction. Okay, go ahead and type back in 90. And size. Okay. So, let's see what happens when I give it a command. Move and turn. As I drag commands from over here on the left side and place them here, I can start to create an algorithm, a series of steps that my sprite will take. Now, uh, the sprite that you're going to use is going to be an image of a Mars rover. You'll find it again at the website. Your background you can set here and upload. There are several images uh, in a zip file available from NASA. Uh, you can also go to NASA and look for a specific image. Keep going. Now, we're going to get rid of Scratchy and choose another sprite, that rover. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover one more thing called an event. If I go to this yellow category, I could say, you know what? When a button is pressed, let's say the space key, then that code will run. 
one of the first things you're going to have to do when you start writing your program is make it so that you can press a button and the rover moves in that direction. So I'm going to say, you know, I want to change the direction. when I point to the right and have it change. By 10. Okay, let's see. All right, that's kind of what the rover did. I'm gonna duplicate that code. Say up arrow, let's have it to point zero. And instead of changing x this way, I want to change y, which is this way. OK, we are part way there. Please go to the NASA website, follow the instructions, and make your own NASA rover game. If you come up with some change, something different, Maybe you make it a different type of rover by making your own sprite. Engineer your own solution. Please let us know. Okay, so like I said, we have some friends from NASA who are gonna be joining us. Let's ask some questions. We are super excited here uh, that we have uh, a guest uh, with us, uh, Ed Marie Sanchez Herrera who is an intern with NASA, and she's going to answer some questions about the Mars lander, about Perseverance. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Emory. Thank you for having me, Stephen. So let me ask you uh, our first question. There, there are so many questions that I have uh, about Perseverance that I know the kids are gonna have as well. Uh, the first one is, what, what, what is it going to do? What is Perseverance going to do when it gets there uh, to Mars? So part of the mission is to land on the Gerrezo crater, which is believed that the area was once floated with water. Another part of the mission is that with the science instruments that are incorporated in Perseverance, we're able to acquire information about the environment conditions to identify past environments capable of supporting life, seek for biosignatures and collect rocks, soil samples, and store them in the Martian surface. And as well, something that I find really interesting is that uh, we will have a have MOXIE experiment. And MOXIE is supposed to test oxygen production from the Martian atmosphere. Oh, that is super exciting. Thank you so much. OK, it's time to get out there and code your own game. Think about what you would do if you were one day coding a rover that was on the surface of another planet. Have fun.